think about it, man. It's uh, after 9/11 and all that, you know, people come and step on our soil, and I don't know. It's just like people can walk, breathe, and do what they do every day because of veterans, and I appreciate them more than everybody else around. It's a hard thing to discuss, you know. I get emotional over the whole thing, so. You know, freedom is not free, and that's a phrase that we've heard, but a phrase that has lived out in lives uh, around this country. Uh, veterans comprise about uh, three percent of the population, and those who currently serve in uniform comprise about another one percent. When you look at the total number of uh, people who are involved, it's less than 5% who have served or are currently serving. That's a pretty heavy burden, but it's one that we recognize this day. Uh, what, what United States Air Force uh, means a lot to me. My dad's a retired Marine. His dad's a retired Marine. His dad's a retired Marine. My brother did a four-year tour in the Marines and got out after three years in Iraq. Uh, my wife's active duty for the Air Force. Uh, she's. Uh, an E6 at Wilford Hall on Lackland. It means a lot to me to serve in the military. Um, I'm actually planning on possibly going back in as an officer once I graduate next semester. So I did six years. I got out to go to school full time. Uh, when I was able to say get out to go to school full time, probably go back in as an officer. Nearly 2.5 million citizens have been killed or wounded in the defense of our nation. Today, we assemble together to honor those who have served and are still serving in our nation's armed forces, and to remember the fallen who have given their all. In the past 11 years, 52 men and women from our very own city of San Antonio, Texas, have paid the ultimate price as they defended the very freedoms that you and I are so privileged to have. As a nation, we have been blessed by generation upon generation of patriots. As we speak, campuses and communities across the nation are assembling and participating in the national roll call, and together we will all simultaneously observe a nationwide minute of silence. Together, we tell our men and women currently serving, your peers who are here studying under the umbrella of freedom that you have provided, understand and honor your sacrifices and those of your fallen brothers. All veterans hold the death of their comrades in a special place inside them, which is forever vivid in their hearts and minds. While today remembers all veterans, let us take this time to remember, reflect, and celebrate those who have paid the ultimate price by proudly calling out their names and remembering them. 